Oh guys, get off the road! <laughs> so today we're going to Loch Bray and in our very first video we went to a lake which is very close to here it's also in the same kind of area called Loch Tay but this one is like a double lake thing so there's an upper and a lower lake which I think in a lot of lakes up in the Wicklow Mountains where this is it's the same at Glen Loch there's an upper and a lower lake but um, it's very close to Glen Cree which is where we went to the German War Cemetery um, very, about 10 minutes drive from that so we just decided to get in the car we can't do very much at the moment because I'm on night shift so this is close so we said we'd pop up and take a look before Leah goes to work before I go to work and tomorrow. after I finished <laughs> we only have a couple of hours gap at the moment so so uh, let's go Trying to make our way down to the first lake, but it's very, very marshy. So you have to go down the hill to go back up the hill to get in between the two lakes so you can get a proper shot of the two of them. But um it's a bit in it, Lee. It's lovely. Wore the wrong shoes, but it's lovely. Oh shit. Yeah, this is a bad idea. We're still gonna do it though. So there was a family behind us who, um, they got not even a quarter of the way down and just went, nope, not doing that. And now they're back up the top. But we're still going. From here we're just winging it. No idea where we're going. from where we parked. It doesn't look like it from where we parked, but uh, which, yeah, it's really pretty. It's got really windy up here as well though, which isn't fun. Oh, the rainbow! There's a rainbow! I think we're so lucky to live like at the bottom of the Wicklow Mountains to just have all these little day trips and you know drives to go and just see some beautiful places like it's only you know a, a short drive away isn't it and it's just 20 minutes away. yeah and like no matter kind of what angle you go there's always somewhere to to it's see deep. like yeah we're pretty lucky a lot of beauty in the Wicklow Mountains a lot of beauty in the Wicklow Mountains so I just fell down this hole look at the state of my shoe look at that Fuck my life. Can't climb off the council for you being stupid. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. Lee tried to warn me, but I, I was said, like three times, watch your foot, watch your foot, watch your Okay yeah. Leah. <laughs> I was uh, I was looking at the camera trying to sort out settings and I just down the hole I went. I'm lucky it wasn't further down because I could have broke my ankle. <laughs> Special case. Yeah, the wind has kind of died down, so we've been able to get the drone up. It was fun. It was fun. Good place to practice as well, because it's so open, there's nobody around. Yeah. So we're going to, we're taking a walk now along the middle, like the ridge, to go to the upper lake, where you suppose you can see the two lakes side by side. So let's go. So 
just standing in the strip of land that divides the two lakes and oh my god the views are insane. If you're planning on coming to Ireland or you live in Ireland, particularly around the Dublin or Wicklow area, yeah, come here. Definitely, there's come just here. the beauty and the nature and like you're on top of the you're on top of the mountains. Like you feel like you're on top of the world. And there's actually a little I won't call it little, that's actually a big it's house. A <laughs> there's a mansion on the, the strip of the lake behind us, you can see it just there. <laughs> but imagine living there, imagine having that for you when you wake up in the morning it's just Class. unbelievable so now we need to try figure out a way to get back to the car I might get Sherpa to try and fly <laughs> sit on the drone and let the drone fly us <laughs> back <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like one of us are going to end up falling down into a fucking cave or something Took the alternate route. Really? Middle of a field. Mistakes were made. Deeper. <laughs> oh, I just want to get back to the car. <laughs> I'm literally knee deep. So it's two days later. We finally found the car. We got lost. That was fun. Two years later. No, we just forgot to do an outro. So we're here now to let you know that we survived. That we survived. They had twisted our ankle, but we survived. Yeah, that wasn't fun. And um, yeah, take a look at what my shoes look like. I mean, they're probably wearing the best shoes to wear. Same. Yeah, maybe maybe we need to invest in hiking boots. See, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend coming to Loch Bray um, on a little tour of all the, the lakes of Wicklow. It's definitely, of the two of them, there's upper and lower, but they're definitely worth it. Again, I would um, recommend hiking boots. If anybody has recommendations for good hiking boots, let me know because I need a pair. I'm just, I'm just gonna buy cheap ones for a tenner or something. Fair. As always, though, like, subscribe, and the ding bell. Ba 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 ba. Ding Notifications. Ding, ding, ding. And we'll see you in the next one, guys.